Hello everybody, my name is Trevor Wells, and I chose the moon landing as my conspiracy theory. On July 20th, 1969, a team of three American astronauts left Earth's atmosphere to become the first humans to go to the moon. Neil Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin walked on the lunar surface for two and a half hours while Michael Collins orbited in the command module above. Scientific experiments were put in place, photographs were taken, and moon rock samples were collected before heading home. That is the official report, anyway. Some people believe it looked a little more like this, filmed on a movie set right here on Earth. In fact, approximately 20% of Americans believe the moon landing was a hoax. But first, to give a little backstory, the Apollo 11 mission took place at the height of the space race in 1969. The Cold War was going on between the United States and Russia at the time, and in order to get out of a slump, whoever put a man on the moon first would be a symbol of superior government strength. Because this was such an important time, some believe America would do whatever it took to win and regain confidence in its people. And since it has been speculated that NASA didn't possess the technology capable of pulling off such a feat at the time, this has led some to believe NASA could have faked the moon landings in a special effects studio out of desperation to win. This theory really picked up speed when the photographs supposedly taken on the moon were released to the public. It wasn't long until people were pointing out what they believed to be errors or mistakes in the photographs as evidence of being filmed on a movie set, which became the real basis for the belief in this conspiracy. NASA has come out with official responses to the theories, but it's hard to say which side is actually true. Every conspiracy theory has two sides of the argument, so I'll provide both points of view for each piece of evidence and let you decide what to think of it. Okay. So the first claim is multiple light sources. In this picture, you can see Buzz Aldrin stepping down completely in the shadow of the lander, and yet he is not dark at all, but clearly visible as if being illuminated by a separate light source. Furthermore, in this picture, you can see shadows off various objects are not running parallel to one another, but if the sun is supposed to be the only light source, how is this happening? Conspiracy theorists say, this is the result of studio lights, used when filming on a production set. NASA says reflected light off the Earth, Moon, lunar module, and the astronauts themselves, coupled with uneven terrain, could account for the odd shadows and lighting. A second observation is that this flag appears to be flapping in the wind. But since space is a vacuum and there is no air on the Moon, that simply cannot be. Conspiracy theorists say it is flapping in a breeze, and that breeze is coming from a draft in the studio where this was filmed. NASA says the astronauts twisted the flag back and forth while putting it in place, and the decreased gravity on the moon could have kept the flag's inertia going for an extended period of time after they walked away from it. Another observation is Neil Armstrong's iconic footprint. Conspiracy theorists say it's not possible to create a footprint this detailed on a bone-dry surface that instead this had to have been done in something similar to wet sand, which of course is not available on the moon, so again, it had to have been done here on Earth. NASA says lunar dust is an extremely fine powder that can compact together and hold without moisture. The next observation is that there are no stars visible in any single picture taken on the moon. Conspiracy theorists say whoever worked on the backdrop for the film either forgot to add them or it would just be too much work to accurately map out the stars so they were left out intentionally. NASA says the dust that covers the moon is highly reflective, and the bright glare coming off the moon's surface could have been drowning out smaller lights in the distance. Our last observation is what's known as the sea rock. In the bottom left of this picture, you'll notice one of the rocks has a definite letter C on it. Conspiracy theorists say Props used in movies are sometimes marked with the letter C to keep track of position on set, and this rock is one of those props that must have been accidentally turned around. NASA says it's just a glitch in the photograph, and must be a stray hair or some other fiber that got caught in the developing process. So that was the top five observations that conspiracy theorists claim is evidence to support the idea of a large-scale hoax. Some conspiracy theorists, though, are more uh, direct in their approach. I'm about to show you a clip in which you'll see a man named Bart Sibrel, a well-known skeptic, confronting Buzz Aldrin in public, and the encounter doesn't end very smoothly. 
Howdy, Buzz. Yeah. How's it going? Remember me? What's your name? Bart. Bart Sibrel. Would you uh, give your name to my uh, oh, I assistant? Bart. Yeah, I got one for you, one for your lawyer to sue me. Yeah, That's right. well, I hope you do. Idea. I'd love to go to court and show yeah. the window shot. I know you'd like to get a lot of attention, wouldn't you? Well, you're the one getting money for something yeah. you didn't do. You're getting a lecture. <laughs> for walking on the moon when you didn't. Well, that's called being a thief. That's called being a thief. Do you think you can get to heaven without repenting? Why don't you swear on the Bible that you walked on the moon? Why don't you swear on the Bible that you walked on the moon? I'm not trying to get you the tell him to get out of here? This is a hotel. We'll call right, we, the police. We, we pay. Come on in not, here. We'll call the police. Solicit on you like that? Why don't you swear on the Bible that you walked on the moon? I, it doesn't, sir. I, don't, I have nothing to do with this. But okay. You cannot solicit on this property. We just paid right to rent out the penthouse to shoot up there. So. You can't solicit like this. Keep, keep, keep shooting. All right. Well, then I go through my measures. Yeah. You gotta keep shooting, man. Okay. Well, you can put it on your shoulder. Don't be shy. Come with me, bud. You really like it? You're the one who said you walked on the moon when you didn't. Calling the kettle black. If I ever thought of it. saying I misrepresented myself. Get away from me. You're a coward and a liar and a thief. Buzz Aldrin is now 84 years old. This was him almost 45 years ago. Either on the moon or a movie set. With all the theories floating around out there, the question remains, did we really land a man on the moon? And that concludes my presentation. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and thank you for watching.